Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel guys. Now I was asked by my Discord um, members and if you want to join that Discord uh, go down into the description you'll be able to find a link in there. I was asked by those guys how is it that I play in Minecraft 1.16 for my Let's Play series. Well if you didn't know I'm actually playing in the snapshots it's not technically the full release. Um, but obviously I'm going to go through how to do that with you. Uh, so when you get to your Minecraft launcher, obviously you have your releases down here and obviously your play button there. Uh, I'm going to go to the releases thing and as you can see I've got all the profiles that I have set up for my game. So I've got a latest release, a latest snapshot, I've got the latest version of beta and the latest version of the alpha releases. Um, obviously beta and alpha are from a long time ago. Um, but obviously the latest release was 1.15.2 as that's an official release and the latest snapshot is 20w13b. Now in order to do this you go into the installations tab at the top um, next to play uh, and in between play and skins and obviously uh, when you do this you have options like versions I collect all three so I can play the historical such as the beta and the alpha. Uh, the snapshots so I can play things like the 1.16 snapshots and also obviously versions releases um, which would be the regular game. Now um, it doesn't matter how you sort it but obviously if you click on new it brings up this whole pa uh, page so we're gonna do um, name we just can name it a test you can name it whatever you want um, but this is obviously just for you guys to see I'm gonna delete this afterwards uh, version you just go in here you click whichever one you want obviously you can do latest release which would be the actual game latest snapshot that's um, the snapshot that's just come out obviously you can pick a specific one or if you click latest snapshot um, when the game updates it will automatically change this profile to the latest snapshot um, we're gonna put it as latest snapshot for now just so you guys understand um, resolution I have it as auto because it full screens it for me um, game directory I would say use the default directory that's, that's probably where it's installed and if we go into the more options tab you can use the JVM arguments now for those of you that don't know this is also how you um, add, uh, dedicate and sorry add, allocate and um, change how much RAM or memory that's um, volatile can be used by the game um, so I tend to play with a max of three gigabytes, I don't use any mods. So, um, if you're running modded Minecraft, I'd recommend probably four gigs. Um, but obviously, check the specs of your PC or laptop before you do this, as obviously um, you don't want to run out of memory on your whole computer and cause a crash. Uh, I have 32 gigs of memory, so I'm well in the clear to allocate free to this game. But say you only have four gigs of memory in your laptop, you know. Uh, it may not be wise to allocate all the free gigs. Um, so yeah, you can get away easily playing too. I play with free just for extra smoothness. Um, and then you just click create and it will show up obviously. Um, we've got test here and yeah, if we go into play and then come down here, it shows at the bottom. All you've got to do is click on it and that would now run into the snapshot. Um, so yeah, if you want to delete these, you just go onto here. Obviously you can duplicate or delete and that's pretty cool. Now um, when you go into the latest releases right at the bottom you see things like the alpha and bits like that. If you ever wanted to play the old alpha or beta versions of the game you know you can do that that's pretty cool. Um, apart from that that's really it guys there's not really much else in this that's worth noting. Obviously the patch notes is quite good for learning about the game. Um, if you want to learn more about the game um, you know by reading stuff highly recommend clicking on these kind of learning about the game but that's really it for this video so i hope you've enjoyed i hope you know how to get into the latest snapshots and bits like that and i will see you in the next one